سن منان ستتوس املا كاجان اند توداي اي وود لايك تو توك تو يو اباوت فارمين اور اجريكالتشر اند ذا نيد فور اجريكالتشر اند ذا سبيسز ان ويتش اجريكالتشر از موست بينيفيشال فيرست اي وود ستارت اجريكالتشر از موست بينيفيشال از ا كوميونيتي where we come together and share seeds um have communal lands in simu a seven a section this war uh in misia la this is good to this is piloxone and then there are then methods of agriculture the um, standard agriculture methods have proved to not be sustainable for human life or the the life of the earth you know the earth is is dying because we are not farming the right way right um mainstream agriculture has us stripping the land and then putting fertilizers into the land now now there is something called permaculture it is regenerative and it deals with sustainability first permaculture uses what is already in the land so all the fallen leaves become compost or they become mulch all the chickens that you have uh, contribute it's a mixed farming it is a permanent culture rather than an agriculture which i would think is um yeah bazi bazasho when we use some of the methods of permaculture like your no till or no digging what essentially we are doing is we are adding more onto the earth than taking out of the earth and the more we take out of the earth is the less it is able to give back to us so when we use these these methods we use them uh, regenerat- regeneratively isingisi uh and sustainably not just for us but for the future generations which are still to come who still need to carry on this age old tradition of creating food for people to live now spring is coming or let me say spring is upon us and the rains are coming um we need to prepare if we are still preparing the soil the way we have known the soil to be prepared by digging it and stripping it um for this season let us start with what we know start with what we know but let us learn so please go and research youtube has a lot of these wonderful um uh, individuals ladies and gentlemen who are uh, teaching people about um permaculture no dig gardening um and eventually once you are able to garden successfully you will be able to farm on a larger scale than what your garden can produce but now because a lot of us don't have the space we need to now figure out where this thing can be done and where it can actually benefit us i had a conversation on the social medias and people lambasted me for saying that we black people need to leave the um, the cities and the townships and go live with the african communities in the farms one the african community when they came to this country they preserved the land as much as possible so everywhere where the african are they still fa- fairly rural but then there is also a lot of land there is there and those people grew up with our people in makaya two they have the knowledge of the wild which we have lost lost since we were stripped out of the wild so if we were to go back and have large amounts of land we will have that land without the knowledge of how to work that land if you've never had a hectare of land you won't know what to do with 50 hectares so 
when we leave the cities and we leave the townships, we let go of the dreams of wanting to drive Ferraris and go live in Santins and all those things. When we start to think right, that's when we will see that sustainable living is out there, not here. There is no land here in Gauteng and there is no land around the major cities. And because of pollution, most of the lands, not that they're infertile, but they are not conducive for the type of regenerative farming that actually needs to happen. But if we are then going to continue um, our plight, you know, to start small, this grow, grow evolution, grow evolution um, learn about container planting, learn about um, no dig. You can dig on, on concrete. I mean, you can, um, excuse me, you can grow food on concrete, create a bed, fill it high enough with, with compost and whatever organic materials mixed with soil, and the roots will have enough space for them to, to grow sufficient food for you. So research, agri uh, um, permaculture, no dig or no till farming, uh, hugel culture, regenerative farming, food foresting, um, growing, in wood, growing in wood chips or having wood chip parts. And let us broaden our horizons. Let us broaden the space in which we exist, which first should be our minds. Because uh, everything is mental. If we are able to create a system that one day we will be sure that we have the full knowledge of, we will then be able to pass it on to our children. The Afrikaner community, what they have is their children learning to do these things or imparting the knowledge and creating the interest, essentially indoctrinating them into progressive activities. They learn how to interact with this agriculture world at a very young at a very young age. Last time we were at a, a auction for exotic free range chickens, and we were outbid by an eight year old African boy. And not that, you know, he wanted it more than us. But he probably did because he's a child. But he's actually there doing it, and that is exciting to think about. If we can lose the notion of race and racial superiority or, you know, this, this nonsense of black and white, and we build ourselves as a community, as a people in one country, we share information. Those with land now, when they are with those who have had land for a long time, they will be able to share the information, and none will be insecure on sharing what they know. Um, but the rains are coming. Let us all go buy seeds. Let us all share information on how to grow. And let there be life. Yabong. Yeah,